Welcome to Life and Folklore. Today we will talk about a creature of Slavic folklore. As you have well noticed from the title today we will talk about Baba Yaga. In Slavic folklore, Baba Yaga is a supernatural being, or a trio of sisters of the same name, who appears as a deformed or ferocious looking old woman. In Slavic culture, Baba Yaga lived in a hut usually described as standing on chicken legs, Baba Yaga may help or hinder those that encounter her or seek her out. She may play a maternal role and has associations with forest wildlife. According to Vladimir Prop's photomorphology, Baba Yaga commonly appears as a donna, as a villain, or may be altogether ambiguous. Her depictions vary greatly across tales, ranging from a child-eating monster to helping a protagonist find his missing bride. Andres Johns identifies Baba Yaga as one of the most memorable and distinctive figures in Eastern European folklore, and observes that she is enigmatic and often exhibits striking ambiguity. John summarizes Baba Yaga as a many-faceted figure, capable of inspiring researchers to see her as a cloud, moon, death, winter snake, bird, pelican or earth goddess, totemic matriarchal ancestress, female initiator, phallic mother or a chatable image. Variations of the name Baba Yaga are found in the languages of the Eastern Slavic peoples. The first element, Baba, is transparently a Baba word. In Old Russian, Baba may mean midwife, sorceress, or fortune teller. As noted by Lithuanian scholar Marija Gimbitis, the character of Baba Yaga shows considerable ambiguity. She is described as a witch with cannibalistic tendencies, with preference for children in some accounts, while in others she is a wise prophetess who gives guidance to heroes. As one of the most famous witches, Baba Yaga has appeared in hundreds if not thousands of folk tales in Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus predating the 18th century. The first clear reference to Baba Yaga, Aga Babu, occurs in 1755, Mikhail V. Lomonosov's Rossiskaya Grammatica, Russian Grammar. In Lomonosov's Grammar, Baba Yaga is mentioned twice among other figures largely from Slavic tradition. The second of the two mentions occurs within a list of Slavic gods and beings next to their presumed equivalents in Roman mythology. The Slavic god Perun, for example, appears equated with the Roman god Jupiter. Baba Yaga, however, appears in a third section without an equivalent, attesting to perception of Hrynikanus even in this first known attestation. However, it is noticeable that, like a Kate, Baba Yaga presents over a wide, diverse array of domains and functions. In the narratives in which Baba Yaga appears, she displays a variety of typical attributes, a turning, chicken lect, and a mortar, pestle, mup or broom. Baba Yaga frequently bears the epithet bunny leg, and when inside of her dwelling, she may be found stretched out over the stove, reaching from one corner of the hut to another. Baba Yaga may sense and mention the Russian scent of those that visit her. Her nose may stick into the ceiling. Particular emphasis may be placed by some narrators on the repulsiveness of her nose. In many tales, there are three Baba Yagas, which are often depicted as sisters. For example, in a version of the Maidens are collected in the 19th century by Alexander Afanasyev, even a handsome merchant son makes his way to the home of one of three Baba Yaga. He journeyed onwards straight ahead, and finally came to a little hut. It stood in the open field, turning on chicken legs. He entered and found a Baba Yuga the bonny leg feed feed, she said. The Russian smell was never heard of nor caught sight of here, but it has come by itself. Are you here of your own free will or by compulsion, my good youth? Largely, of mine free will, and twice as much by compulsion do you know, Baba Yuga? Well, is the thrice tenth kingdom, no. I do not, she said, and told him to go to her second sister, she might know. Devon walks for some time before encountering a small hut identical to the first. This Baba Yaga makes the same comments and asks the same question as the first, and Devon asks the same question. This second Baba Yaga does not know either and directs him to the third, but says that if she gets angry with him and wants to devour you, take three horns from her and ask her permission to blow them. Blow the first one softly, the second one louder, and third still louder, even thanks her, and continues on his journey. After walking for some time, even eventually finds the chicken-legged hut of the youngest of the three sisters turning in an open field. 
This third and youngest of the Baba Yagas makes the same comment about the Russian smell before running to wet her teeth and consume Evan. Evan begs her to give him three horns and she does so. The first he blows softly, the second louder, and the third louder yet. This causes birds of all sorts to arrive and swarm the hut. One of the birds is the firebird, which tells him to hop on its back, or Baba Yaga will eat him. He does so, and the Baba Yaga rushes him and grabs the firebird by its tail. The firebird leaves with Ivan, leaving Baba Yaga behind with a fistful of firebird feathers. In a Farnesiv's collection of tales, Baba Yaga also appears in the magic Swangis, Baba Yaga and Zamorishik, by command of the Prince Daniel, Vizilisa the Fair Mary Mori of Nerd Realms of Copper Silver and Gold, the Sitar and Vizilisa the Wise, and Legless Knight and Blind Knight, English Toodles from Magnus, translation. In some of these tales, a Baba Yaga will be only to rise again in another form. Baba Yaga appears on a variety of lobby, would block Prince Popular in late 17th and early 18th century Russia. In some instances, Baba Yuga appears astride a pig going to battle against a reptilian entity described as a crocodile. Some scholars interpret this scene as a political parody. Peter the Great persecuted all believers, who in turn referred to him as a crocodile. Some instances of the lobby feature a ship below the crocodile, and Baba Yuga appears in what some scholars identify as Finnish dress, and Katharina, Peter the Great's wife, was sometimes derisively referred to by way of a word referring to Finnish women. Another Lubeck features Baba Yaga dancing with a backup playing bold man. In turn, some scholars have identified this as a merry depiction of the home life of Peter the Great in Katharina. Alternately, some scholars have interpreted these lobby motifs as reflecting a concept of Baba Yaga as a shaman, according to which the crocodile would represent a monster who fights witches. The print would therefore be something of a cultural melange that demonstrates an interest in shamanism at the time. Contemporary to the production of the lobby, the Finnic people still practiced a form of shamanism. According to scholar Andres Jans, neither of these two interpretations significantly changes the image of Baba Yaga familiar from folk tales. Either she can be seen as a literal evil witch, treated somewhat humorously in these prints, or as a figurative witch an unpopular foreign empress, with literal and figurative understandings of Baba Yaga are documented in the 19th century and were probably present at the time these prints were made. Jezebaba, a figure closely related to Baba Yaga, occurs in the folklore of the West Slavic peoples. The name Jezebaba and its variants are directly related to that of Baba Yaga. The two figures may stem from a common figure as far back as the medieval period, if not further and both figures are at times similarly ambiguous. The two differ in their occurrence in different tale types and in details regarding their appearances. Questions linger regarding the limited Slavic area, East Slavic nations, Slovakia, and the Ksech lands, in which references to Jezebaba are recorded. Another related figure appears in Polish folklore by the name of Jidza. Skulls have identified a variety of beings in folklore who share similarities of varying extent with Baba Yaga. These similarities may be due to either direct relation or cultural contact between the Eastern Slavs and other surrounding peoples. Various references to Baba Yaga can be found in the present day. Just think of Hellboy or Sandman comics, or even in two series like Legends of Tomorrow or Supernatural, and even in the John Wick movie, there are also films dedicated too hard. Thanks for watching the video. Sign up and leave a like.